Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild with the Red Deer Grind. This has been a really fun grind and it really seems like you guys have been enjoying watching the videos that I've been making on it. it it's been a lot of fun. We managed to get a few trophies that I really, really wanted to get as well as some unexpected trophies that uh, showed up along the way. And we finally managed to sink a final shot into that guy. Though not as good of shooting as I would have liked. To be fair though, this is the first shots I have took all day. This is the uh, very first deer that I've shot all day, so we'll get warmed up eventually. Something that's quite interesting is we've actually introduced a new zone into our grind because we shot down a zone that we had been hunting. On our last uh, live stream, we finished uh, shooting down this zone right here. We've got nothing but level 4s here now. So we decided to implement this zone into the grind, which is... It's a little bit different. I mean, it's a mangrove zone. It's not the most efficient, but it's good enough to where I can reliably get a stag or two there and have decent shots on them. The only problem I run into is the occasional crocodile trying to spook them off, but it honestly has not been that bad. And I mean, there is our male right there. That is a level six. I've also got a solo five here that I've just been leaving as I don't want to have to chase a level five around because that can be an absolute pain. But there we go, level 6 going down. There was also quite a few of you that said you wanted to see a herd management guide for the Red Deer, so we will be doing that sometime in the near future. I don't know exactly when, but uh, likely on my next recording day, which should be on Wednesday, so a couple days from now, as of recording this video, we should uh, record that video for the herd management guide. But until then, you guys are going to see some little videos like this, maybe a few angler videos going out. And uh, we're just going to have fun with this grind and try to get ourselves a cool trophy. Now, we did end up getting a really awesome looking rare to spawn. You guys have seen a lot of rares from this grind because we've had a pretty good amount of them showing up. We're at 1,390 kills now. And uh, the guy in front of us is going to be our sixth rare. Right there. Now, you may be wondering uh, why this is our sixth rare, because I've only had four different rares in videos. We ended up actually getting another pieball during the live stream a day ago. Uh, I think by the time this video goes live, it will have been two days ago. But we got a really nice looking level seven pieball. So before we take this guy down, let's go ahead and look at that one from the live stream. Going to be any overlap from one person's grind to- Oh! Yo! That's a beauty! Look at him! That is a gorgeous seven. That is a gorgeous pieball seven. That dude's looking good. He's looking incredible. That's a nice rack. It's uneven, but it looks really nice. Oh my gosh. Let's freaking go. Like, yeah, it's uneven, but it actually kind of matches. That's a good looking red deer. We've been getting really good rare luck this grind. Like, we haven't got a great one yet after almost 1,300 kills, but we've had some really solid rares. Let's see if we can get a shot on this guy. Oh, we didn't get vitals. Wait, how? That looked fine. How did that not get vitals? We can save this. Ah, we saved it! Yes! Oh my gosh, we saved it! <laughs> we saved it! Holy crap. No freaking way, man. There's no way we saved that like that. There's no way we saved that like that. And we killed that guy too. Get freaking wrecked. <laughs> I can't believe we saved that. It's been about 350 kills since I got that Mela from today's video. So yeah, it's been about 300 kills since the last rare. And then this beauty just popped up. 189.99. That is a gorgeous looking stag. Look at that rack. It's uneven, but it looks good. Honestly, six rares for just under 1400 kills is not bad at all. That averages out to, I believe, under 250 per rare by just a little bit. So we honestly have been doing really, really good for rares, and I mean, a couple of them have been like dream rares of mine, getting two Melanistics, a nice level seven, and then a nice level eight. So seeing some of these rares popping up like this has been really amazing. We have not managed to get 
an albino yet, and we haven't got a mythical or higher piebald, but I mean, that mythical Mela that we got, plus all of the uh, countless piebalds we've managed to get have been a really, really nice thing to see. Now, at this point, we've had a little bit of time over the last day and a half to get an idea of how far along our herd management is. And I'd say we're actually in a pretty good state. Now, I've definitely got a lot to manage down still in the solos, but from where we currently are, we're actually doing pretty good. We're getting a diamond about every 25 kills, which is obviously nowhere near what it was when we were doing our grind on Tiabaroa. We had that down to getting a diamond every 10 to 15 kills. But this has been really, really good considering how tough it is to manage down Emerald Coast. I would say this map is probably five times harder to manage than Tiabaroa is, and it's going to take a lot longer to get to the same state that we were on that map. But overall, I'm pretty happy with where we are. This is about where our whitetail grind is. With, with uh, But overall, I'm pretty happy with where we are. This is about to the same point where our whitetail grind is on Leighton. And we've been doing that grind for a very long time and had a lot of success with it. So I'm hoping we'll get the same levels of success on the Red Deer grind since we've got everything at about the same state as our uh, HM is on Leighton with our whitetail. But then again, our bears are at this point as well, where we're getting a diamond about every 27, and I've had awful luck with the bears, so we'll see how things go. Hopefully we can get everything working nicely, but uh, as of now, we're almost 1,400 kills into grind number one. Hopefully this great one isn't going to take another 1,400. We did also manage to get this zone right here shot down. It is now a level four in this herd. You know, for the longest time, I didn't even know that we had a herd here. And in fact, now that I'm looking at it, I don't think we actually did get this zone shot down. This is not one that was here before. This is a brand new level six. Now, it could be a solo. And in fact, I think it might be. Actually, yeah, that is definitely a solo male. So that's not as bad. Uh, I thought that that might have been a brand new one from the herd. But as the hinds are not here, that definitely means that it's not from the herd. So I think we're actually still fine. That scared me for a second. I thought maybe we hadn't actually shot it down like I thought we did. You know, as nice as it was to have four males to shoot between these two zones in the top left, we managed to get a level three to spawn in this herd. And I'm not going to shoot a level three because those are really, really good for your HM. So we now just have one on this side and then two on the side that we're currently standing on. Which isn't as efficient as killing four between the two zones, but I mean three between them is pretty good as well. So it's a little bit of a sacrifice I'm willing to make to get an extra three on the map. And it overall has not been too bad. Couple of really nice looking sags. They're a mythical as well as a beautiful level seven. That's actually a really weird and wonky mythical as well. Like that is such a strange looking sag. And also, while I'm thinking about it, guys, leave a comment down below letting me know if you enjoy these videos for the grinds where I actually talk about kind of the stuff that's gone on since the last video and show you guys what I'm doing, talk about stuff that has happened that has kind of changed my approach and things like that, because I do think this is kind of a fun video format to do, and I don't really do these that often. So let me know in the comments if you want to see more of this, and if you like it, then we'll do some more of it in the future. But here's that extra weird looking mythical. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. I don't think I've ever seen that combination of antlers. That is a really cool looking wonky mythical. And then we got another beautiful level seven over here. Man, I would love it if we can manage to get a rare with this rack. I absolutely love this red deer rack. It's one of my favorites that you can get on the sevens. And it just looks so good. It looks so impressive. This zone right here might be my weirdest zone on the map. I really don't know how to predict this zone right here because I can't remove my tents from here because occasionally I'll get a couple of my males from other herds respawning over here instead. And then I'll shoot them and then for a few runs they won't come back here and they'll go back to the other herds. But then eventually they always end up having more respawns in these two herds. So I can't abandon this zone. Because if I do, then I'm just going to have a couple that will randomly show up here and I'll have to keep checking it. It's just, it's a whole thing. So I've had to keep tents at this zone, which is and not the most efficient when I could be dedicating them to other zones. But I, I can't really put them anywhere else when I keep having males show up here every like five to ten runs or so. 
And honestly, I think to make this a little bit more like uh, efficient going to this lake and checking it, we're going to kill this level four here. We stacked up a few other fours and other zones, like I said, so it's okay to kill one over here, I think. And this will give us a reason to always check here because we'll have at least one stag to kill. There we go. There's also like three different zones on the map that have a level five in them that I'm thinking about potentially reintroducing into the grind just so I can try to shoot them down to fours or below uh, because that would be nice to get them managed down and it would also give us some extra stuff to shoot in the meantime. We got a couple of really nice level sevens in this zone so let's just get shots into them as quick as we can and that guy's gonna need three of them. Actually he may need four. Oh no he may need four. That was not the greatest shooting that we've had all day. In fact, he might need a fifth. Well, he's down, but that was not the greatest shooting I've done. Oh, man. Yeah, that's... I mean, that shot's not even... That shot's not even showing up on the uh, kill screen. I don't know where we hit it. That one was low, and that one was a butt shot. So, as we expected, not the greatest shooting from me. Oh my gosh, that is a level 9 legendary red deer. Look at that beauty right there. That is the last thing I expected coming over here as I had checked all these zones last night before I logged off to make sure I hadn't spawned any great ones and this 9 was not there. So this has to be a respawn from something we've shot during this video or else maybe it just wasn't there when I checked last night. But either way, we've got ourselves a beautiful legendary red deer. And right across is a really big mythical as well. That is one of the mythical racks that looks very similar to the legendaries. And in fact, when I looked across and saw him, I kind of thought it might have been a legendary, but it is just a mythical. There is the legendary stag. Let's take a look at this beauty. It is 253.21. That is indeed a diamond stag. Looking beautiful. Like I said in one of the previous Red Deer grinding videos, I still am not tired of seeing these things. Even though I've seen hundreds of them across our herd management Red Deer grinds, it's still a really awesome looking diamond and I just don't get tired of seeing them. They still look incredible even after having seen it so many times. And there is that mythical 218.77, another beautiful, beautiful stag. So there we've got a couple of level eights across from us. You know, I think... Yeah, those are about 200 away, so I will not need to zero for 300 like I was about to. I was going to try and shoot under that female red deer, but looks like I won't even have to because they moved for me. And that is two beautiful mythicals down. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this is the troll level 9 rack, but it's on a level 8. And it definitely is 238 is about what that rack scores, so this is indeed one of those troll racks. Such a strange looking rack, but at the same time, I've always kind of liked it as well. It's really different and unique and gives you a different type of feel than the other red deer antlers do. And it's kind of the same thing for this type of rack. Like it's different than anything else in the game. And uh, it looks interesting. Definitely does. Oh, there we go. We got ourselves another level nine red deer. Same run, just a couple lakes later. That guy is looking beautiful. This is actually the place that we started the video at. And we've took so long doing this run that we've already got our respawns back here, which usually I have to go to the main menu before the respawns will be back because the animals haven't stopped being spooked. But we actually took a pretty long time going around the map and kind of talking about how things have changed over the last couple of days of this grind that by the time we got back here, the respawns were already here. And this guy is an absolutely huge red deer. I think this is Big Rack, if I'm not mistaken. And it is 264.86. That is a monster red deer. Now, as with any red deer grind that we do here on the channel, our main goal for the diamond ones is trying to hit that coveted 272 score. There's only been a couple of them ever recorded to have reached 272. At least uh, ones that people actually provided proof of having gotten. We've never come close to that. I think the best we got was 271, but we barely got over 271. I would love to hit that 272 mark during this grind if we could possibly get lucky enough. Another stunning looking mythical, one of my favorite racks once again. The mythicals have so many good looking racks and so do the level sevens. Some of the best looking antlers in the entire game. And I would love to get another rare with this rack right here. That is one of my favorites and the rares that have that rack just look so good. There we have a level five across, nothing too special but it is one we got to take down. 
There he is, that beautiful mythical red deer. Such a good shape of antlers as well. Like, this guy is super nice looking. They don't always have, like, as much of a hook to them as this one does. This is a really good looking one. Another massive mythical. We are on a roll for these giant stags today. They are just absolutely everywhere. You absolutely love to see these giant antlers poking up out of the uh, bushes. 219.65. A little smaller than the last, but another beautiful stag. So I'm going to continue grinding, and if I end up getting anything good, it'll go in this video. We're actually going to be doing a live stream shortly at the time of recording this video, so I suppose any of the live stream trophies will be tossed into this video as well towards the end. And there we have it. One run later, we've got ourselves another level 9 legendary Red Deer. It is the only good stag out of this herd this time, but that is still absolutely amazing to see. And one for that little level six as well. There's the level nine. Let's see what it scores. 251.72. That was almost a troll. That was incredibly close to not making it. But he did end up making it, so that's another diamond on the board. Ah. Uh. <laughs> what the? I have no idea what I just did, but that was incredible. There we go. We got ourselves another level 9 red deer. 229 to 274 on the estimate. Let's hope this guy will be close to the top of that estimate, as I would love to break 270 on one of these beautiful diamond red deer. There he is. That guy does not look wide enough. Yeah, 265. He is another max weight, though, so you love to see it, but just not as good of a score as I was hoping for out of this guy. There we go, another level 9. This one not as uh, high of an estimate as the other, and another 9. Oh my gosh, and a mythical that has the same rack as the 9s. That is quite the group of red deer right there. Holy! Two level 9s and a mythical that has the same rack as the troll 9. That is crazy. Well, let's get lined up on this guy right here and try to get a good shot into him and then take shots at these if we can as well. And I think that's vitals on all of them, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, maybe not that guy, but he's not going to make it anyway, so it doesn't really matter, to be honest. Well, there he is. Let's hope this guy is at the top of his estimate. Otherwise, he's not going to be anything too crazy. And 266. He's better than the last one, but still not a 270 plus. There we go, another level 9. This is the third one in this run. This has been just an insane little streak of legendaries popping up. I don't think we've had one like this the entire time that I've been grinding on Emerald Coast. This is the most legendaries I've had in such a short amount of time. This is actually pretty insane. And just like that, we dropped him with a hard shot. I am so happy that we uh, stopped managing down the map at a point where we were still far enough along for it to make a difference. I was so worried that whenever we killed all those stacked diamonds that we wouldn't be far enough, but I think at this point it's pretty clear that we are definitely far enough along in the herd management because we are popping nines left and right. There we go, another level nine, the very next run. And that guy's really tight. That is such a cool looking stag. I would not be surprised if that thing scores incredibly low for this rack. Let's see what we got here. Hopefully it's a really, really unique score for him. And down he goes. Well, now that we've uh, killed this diamond right here, I think it's about time I start up the live stream for the day. So next up, you guys will see all the trophies that we managed to get during this live stream. Hopefully a lot more of crazy rares and diamonds and stuff to come. So my thought is they could do an Africa 2.0 and it could have, oh, oh, we got a pie ball. Let's go. And a diamond. Holy crap. Why could, why could you have not been this combined? Oh man, that's super sick though. Holy crap. A rare next to a diamond. You don't see that every day. You do not see that every day. Even when you're herd managing, it's rare to get a rare and a diamond side by side like that. Oh, gosh, what do we shoot first? Probably this guy because... If we mess up the pie ball, it's not going to like... Ruin its rating too bad, right? Because it couldn't be more than a gold anyway. 
But if we mess up the diamond, then it won't be a diamond. So we're going to shoot the diamond first. That's sick, though. Side by side. Holy. And a big boy mythical on the other side. You'll love to see it. Let's see. That's kind of a wonky dude. You know what I've been noticing recently? Oh, that scored top of the estimate as well. Interesting. You know what I've noticed, though? I've noticed that both of my melanistics have been even, and all of my piebalds have been wonky. I'm curious if there's something to that. Because in the past, like, all rare red deer were wonky for the most part. But nowadays, like, the melas don't seem to be wonky. So I'm curious if, like, melas and albinos will be even, and piebalds will be wonky like this. We'll have to kind of see what else happens. <laughs> yeah, Nate. <laughs> 265. He big. He big. That's so sick. Side by side. 210, 175 in between 5 and 6 kills. Wow, Zaki. Wow. Wow. What is my most disappointing great one? The second common quad paddle moose. You can no longer get common fur types with the moose, though, because it was so disappointing when you got a common instead of one of the cool fabled furs that they have. So you can't get commons anymore. The devs, like, fix that. Ooh. <laughs> we got another pie ball, but it's a five. He's so cute. Look at that little feller. Little pie ball at five. That's adorable. That is adorable. Look at this dude. Look at this dude. Well, oh. had to put one more into him. But the piebalds definitely spawn like one in 300 from what I've seen. Look at that little beauty. We're getting really lucky with the piebalds this, uh, this grind. That's four piebalds in the last two days. That's pretty awesome.